In this video, we're doing long division and integration. And we can first tell that we're going to use long division with integration if the degree of the numerator is the same as the degree of the denominator, or if the degree of the numerator is higher than the degree of the denominator. So in this case, they're both 1's. So we can go x minus 1 into 4x. Now our long division, we're saying how many times does x go into 4x? Or in other words, what do we need to multiply x by to get a 4x? That, of course, would be 4. And we would need to distribute. So we get a 4x minus 4, subtract. We need to distribute our negative, just like we learned in Algebra 2. Our remainder will be 4, as these terms cancel out. We write our remainder as a fraction, so plus 4 over our divisor of x minus 1. So now we're going to rewrite this problem, because it's equivalent, as 4dx plus 4 over x minus 1 dx. Well, that simplifies the problem greatly. If we integrate 4, we get 4x. Over here on the right side, if I were to push out the 4, then it would have a u sub of u is x minus 1, du is a uh, dx, and I've got a dx, so this becomes uh, 4, integral 1 over u du, which is, of course, natural log. So we get 4, natural log, absolute value, x minus 1, plus c. Let's try another example. So again, in this case, if we have our degree of the numerator and the degree of the denominator are the same, we would like to do long division. So x squared plus 1 goes into x squared. In other words, what do we need to multiply x squared by to get an x squared? That, of course, is 1. We need to distribute. We get x squared plus 1, subtract distribute our negative. We get a remainder of negative 1. So that would be this time minus 1 over x squared plus 1. We can now rewrite this integral as two separate integrals, 1 dx minus the integral of 1 over x squared plus 1 dx. Well, integrate 1, you get x, subtract, uh, this second one we have memorized as inverse tangent x plus c. Let's try one more. So in the third example, this time the numerator is higher than the denominator. So let's go ahead and long divide. x squared plus 1 goes into x to the fourth plus x squared minus 3. So again, we're thinking, what do we need to multiply x squared by to get an x to the fourth? Well, that would be, of course, x squared. We then need to distribute the x squared to both places. That gives us x to the fourth plus x squared. We need to subtract, distribute our negative, positive, negative, negative. This time, two terms cancel out. Bring down the negative 3, and that would be our remainder. So let's rewrite that as negative. 3 over x squared plus 1. We can now separate this integral as the integral of x squared dx minus the integral of, now I'm going to pull that 3 outside in front, which leaves a 1 over x squared plus 1 dx on the inside. Integrate x squared, you get x cubed over 3 minus 3 have this memorized, inverse tangent of x plus c. Uh, 